بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم یور آئی ٹی ٹیچر شاہد علی خان اینڈ ٹو ڈے آئی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا فسٹ پروگرام آف سی پلس پلس پروگرامنگ لینگویج ہاؤ کوڈ وی رائٹ فسٹ پروگرام ان سی پلس پلس دیٹ از ریلیٹڈ ٹو دا آؤٹ پٹ اسٹیٹمنٹ سو لیٹس اسٹارٹ دا فسٹ پروگرام آف سی پلس پلس First of all, in C++, you have to mention the header files as we have discussed in the previous classes. What are the header files? And before header files, you can mention the comments and for the comments, we will use the forward slash. Two times forward slash, after that, you can write any message, any comments. For example, this is first program this is first program for example you can mention this is first program of c plus plus and after that you have to mention the header files and for the header files we will use the number sign or the channel sign that is called preprocessor for example preprocessor you will write include include reserve word after that you have to mention the header file name in between the less than and greater than bracket so less than in greater than first of all i will mention the io stream i o s t r e a m io stream header file in between less than greater than brackets and after that you have to mention another header file with preprocessor directive that is channel sign or number sign include include reserve word after that space and mention the next header file name in between the angle brackets that is less than and greater than and that header file is conio console input output header file why should i want to use console because there are two function definition and those functions are get ch and get che i want to stop the output of the program that's why i am going to use conio.h header files conio.h header files it has a definition of get ch and get ch e functions that's why i am using and after that you have to mention the void function that we have discussed the main function of c after that small bracket and then the calorie bracket that is the boundary line of c language program or c plus plus program starting curly bracket and after that you have to use the output statement that we have discussed that c out c out is used for output in c plus plus programming and the definition of c out statement it is stored in iostream.h that's why i have used iostream and c out after that you will use the less than sign two time it is a format of c out statement in between less than you have to mention the text which you want to display for output c out is used for output for example i want to write information information technology and you have to close inverted comma and after that you have to mark the semicolon that is end of statement mark used in c language like this i have placed the semicolon because my line is stop now after that you have to press enter you want to write another for example c out again you can use c out again you want to write something for example c plus plus programming and again you have to close inverted commas and after that end of statement mark that is semicolon and my program is complete now because in this first program of c++ i just want to uh, display some text by using c out statement that is used for output statement in c++ 
see out and after that i will press enter to move the next line and i will use the get ch to stop the output screen get ch use to get a single character and it until that it will stop the output screen of the c++ program again semicolon enter and then close the curly bracket of c language program now my program is complete if there is no error in this program so it will run and it will show the output on the black screen of the dos so let's move students i will compile compile and for the compiling and running i will use the control f9 function key then my program will start running and compiling and if there is any error so it will display on the screen so we can see there are no errors zero zero errors and we can see the output screen is appeared you can see information technology and c++ programming these are two words which we want to display in our first c++ program so we will see again that program is running and the text is appeared on the screen so i have to stop and press any key so my screen will stop and i will come back to again c++ source program you can see so program is error free there is no error that's why the output is appearing on the screen and we have noticed that up uh, two lines is appearing on the screen because of c out statement and if we want to display these two lines in separate for example so we will use escape sequences that we have discussed in the previous classes so i will use the backward slash like this slash n for the next line and again i will compile the program so you will notice that the c++ programming will appear on the next line no error you see c++ programming is appearing on the next line so in this way we can separate the text by using escape sequences so i hope students you will apply uh, these uh, statement into your first program and you will get the output uh, as we have applied c out statement in our first program and after that we have applied the slash n escape key use for next line so uh, in the next video we will come with the next program related to c++ programming if you have any difficulty if you have any problem so you can write write in the comment box so we will discuss in the next video so until that allah hafiz i am signing out